Right, hi guys, welcome to my beginning soccer class. Um, we're gonna be using my soccer ball and look how I've been playing with, uh, or I've been recording with soccer clinics and look how much little turf I have. That's a good sign that I'm enjoying this nice sunny day. Anyways, for our class for today, we're gonna be focusing almost on the same drills that we worked on on our first class. And um, I was really excited to hear back from you guys because I know that I mentioned or maybe it wasn't clear enough from the last the last lesson that um, I would love for you guys to send me a video not a video a picture of your soccer ball so then that way I can see the progress that you guys have because I know each and one of you guys got a new soccer ball and it was white so <laughs> it must have gotten really dirty by now hopefully maybe but I just kind of want to see how that looks because you know back when I was younger having a really clean soccer bond then after a game or two hours of game time it felt really nice to see how my ball was kind of dirty because it kind of showed me that I had an awesome time playing soccer so I kind of want to see the same thing for you guys too so for this lesson we're gonna be focusing on dribbles and it's really cool because I found an open space at a school that was open for us to play and I found these tick marks and for me in my head I'm gonna instead of having imaginary lines or objects that I find in the ground, I'm gonna be able to see these tick marks. And I know that for every large tick mark, it's considered five meters. So I'm gonna be using 10 meters for this lesson. And for the start of the first lesson and activity, I want you guys to dribble with me, okay? So remember, we're gonna grab the ball, we're gonna stop the ball, set it in the ground, and we're gonna go 10 meters. So 10, or go to a little bit. Remember, we're gonna push with our front foot, with our dominant uh, feet, and then we're gonna come back using our less dominant feet. Okay, so let's do it. We're gonna push, push, stop. And then we're gonna push with our left foot. Okay, so push, push, and then stop. Okay, so we're gonna do that five times. So you're gonna do it with me, ready? Push with your left foot. You could also, if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to um, continue, if you think that's a little too easy, you can also find a straight line. In my case, this wide, long straight line. You can also follow along going straight if, that, if you find it too easy. But then, if you are comfortable with dribbling, you're going to learn how to dribble. How to use it to move with the ball. Let me show you. So, when you go running, sideways like that I want to practice with you guys so you guys can see what I mean it's like you're combing the ball, combing the ball. stop at the five meters and then you're gonna go back the same thing combing the ball okay you're combing the ball that means you're putting your feet over and then you're dragging it okay so when we go forward at a faster pace this is how it looks like. Okay. You stop. And then you do the same thing. Let's practice with our left foot. I'm not as good at, with my left foot, but we'll try it. Okay. I kind of cheated and used my right foot. If that happens to you, you're more than welcome to do it. Like I said, I'm not too comfortable with my left foot. But let's do it one more time using our stronger foot okay and if you're comfortable use your other foot if not just use your stronger foot okay all right okay you're gonna practice doing the two things and if you want to do a mix and match like the way that i did it i pushed forward with my right foot and then i combed it you're more than welcome like i said if you're advanced and you want to learn how to do things a little bit more fresh just find a straight line and do it there and try to follow along in that straight line if not just do it as much as you can okay 
for our next lesson, we are going to basically do crisscross. This is a lot cool because we have already tick marks already made in the ground. So this is kind of hard, a little bit more advanced. You can always, like these tick marks that I'm standing in, it's a lot harder if you want to practice going in and out, you know, like that. It's a lot harder and it's for more advanced. But for beginning, we're going to remove, like in our heads, we're going to remove every dash. And just like we're going to remove this dash. We're also going to remove these dashes just to make it wider and easier for us to go like weaving ourselves around each tick mark. Okay, We're going to practice doing this walking and then we're going to incorporate it by uh, the next steps by going a little bit faster. Okay, You're going to push and then cut and then push and then cut and then push and then cut and then push and then cut. You're gonna do that as long, as wide as you guys want or as short as you guys want. Like I said, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can cut them, cut, and every tick mark without erasing it. It's gonna really be challenging, but at the same time, it's gonna be really rewarding when you get it done and you're able to weave it through, okay? We're also gonna practice with our left foot, so let's do it again. to do it as best as you guys can even i can't do it perfect i just need a little bit more practice but that's why we're here okay we're gonna do it with our left foot and like i said i'm not as good as with my left foot that i am with my right foot but let's practice found a place where we can kick the ball and this is gonna be a really helpful tip I was fortunate enough to find this place where they have this net and it's gonna be really helpful when we kick the ball and it hits the net it's gonna be really helpful because you're not gonna be able to chase the ball if it goes any further okay so for this we're gonna place the ball you can place it anywhere you want or as far as far away as you guys can you're gonna stop your ball we're gonna practice how to shoot the ball okay there's two types of there's two ways of shooting the ball there's actually multiple ways but there's two common ways that people tend to kick the ball so if you're ready stop and then just think in your head okay think about what are the ways that you kick the ball okay I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to think about what are ways that you remember or you kick the ball Okay, I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to, to think in your head. All right. There are two ways, like I said, two common ways, because there are multiple ways to kick the ball, and there's not a right or wrong way to kick the ball, as long as you kick the ball and you're aiming where you want to aim it at. Okay, but the two common ways that people tend to kick the ball is with the inside of their feet, or the front side of your foot, and the side of your feet. Okay, if you kick the ball on the side, you're kicking things more straight. You're more accurate when you kick it with the side of your feet. Okay, so if you want to aim straight, you just kick it with the side. Okay, 
okay? And the ball goes straight. If you want the ball to lift higher, basically what you want to do is aim it more at an angle, okay? And you're also the same way, you're kicking it with the side of your feet, okay? Like I said, you kick it with your angle and it goes up higher. You can also, like I said, go as far away as you guys can or as closer as you guys can. But remember, if you're kicking it higher, if you want to kick it high, kick it with the side of your feet and almost scoop it up. Okay, one more time. You guys can even kick it higher by keeping an angle even higher. Okay. Like I said, if you want to lift it higher or if you want to shoot it straight, remember to kick it with the side of your feet. If you want the ball to hit hard and to hit it at a at a pace that's a bit faster, kick it with the front of your feet and also kick it at an angle. The reason why is because when you're in an angle, you have a little bit more power when you do that. Okay? So this is what it looks like. So you're gonna stand again. Remember, if you're going to kick with your dominant feet, always place it first. And it should be the last feet that you kick at. Okay? Remember, with the front of your feet. And like I said, you can push the ball even further to help you improve it or to help you um, kick it harder. Okay, one more time. Like I said, if you use the if you use an angle and you kick it with with the front of your feet, it, it is gonna go harder, but also at the same time, it's a little bit less accurate. But remember, always practice makes perfect perfection. Okay, remember step step a little bit back and then kick it with the side of your feet. Ready? And keep practicing. I want you guys to keep practicing. Let me know in your head, picture where you want to kick the ball and then try to aim at it. I know it's not going to always aim where you want to kick the ball, but remember, it takes a lot of trials and error to do it, okay? So I want you to do that. I want you to kick the ball 10 times. Okay, 10 times with the side of your feet, 10 times with the front of your feet, okay? Let's go. You guys can even instead of kicking the ball when it's straight you guys can even push the ball a little bit like that and then kick it I know for sure that helps you kick the ball more faster and also it makes it a little bit more realistic remember you guys can always dribble the ball back and do the same thing This one you're gonna take it closer because I'm gonna practice with my left foot so I'm gonna kick with my right and then when the ball comes back I'm gonna kick it with my left okay I want you guys to kick the ball like I said ten times kicking it with the front of your feet then ten times kicking it with the side of your feet and for this we're gonna practice using our two feet okay remember and then if it comes back hopefully it comes back you kick it with your other feet
remember you guys to rotate your feet and what I was doing I was using the side of my feet and then just to improve my passing skills with the side of my feet